Okay, we are recording, and I'm already out of juice. Damn, I should have thought of that. Oh, well. <laughs> I was trying to record this earlier, and I had the wrong thing set to be my microphone. And then I'll put the audio to my file, and uh, I had video and no soundtrack. Well, a blank soundtrack, I suppose. Rather empty. So, I guess I saved my file size a bit, but... I wanted to stuff some sound into that wrapper, and now I am. Okay, where was I? Um, I wasn't anywhere. I was going to talk about my day. So, um, as you see in the previous two videos I shared there, uh, with a bit of a, a graphical picture, I, I, I had gone down to the library. <coughs> Excuse me. I had gone down to the library to check up on that document, its status, and then from there proceed down to the, um, the public service workers um, strike where they're protesting and support them and that's what I was going to do that was the plan <coughs> that was the plan so let's talk about the library bit first as you can see in the video oh my god I'm so sorry as you, as you can see in the video I got there and <coughs> the document was gone it was gone I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if the librarian had pulled it, if our ca little campaign, such as it was, had any impact er at all or not. Maybe someone took it home for reading. That might have happened as well. Um, so I'm going to go back on my next day off, which is going to be on a, ch on a Tuesday. And, <coughs> excuse me again, oh my god, I'm still like choking, I don't know why, I must be all the cayenne pepper in my food. Um, and I'm going to go see and and find out if that paper still is back or not. And if it's back, I'm going to go ask the light. No, wrong. If it's gone, if it's gone, I'm going to go ask the librarian and say, "Hey, did did that get pulled? I, I'm just curious. And if it's still there, we're going to carry on our campaign, okay? And folks, we really have to get on this. I'm going to again leave the email address. <coughs> I'm going to leave the email address in the uh, in the um on screen there and I'm going to put a link to the library's website in my link tree in my profile so you can take a look there and find it and um, you, you know, the address will be listed in the pub it's a publicly available address okay so we're not doxing anybody here so if anyone comes back at me and says I'm doxing this is publicly available information for public service workers for us to contact them and this is what we're doing we're contacting a public surf service worker about about a document that um, they are, um, <coughs> if if only um, ostensibly in control of. Um, but anyhow, we are um, we're going to continue that campaign. We're not going to let we're not going to let people who are going to erase anybody. Not just not just trans. I mean, if I had seen something racist, if I had seen something. Um, um, misogynist, that's the term I'm looking for. If I had seen something, um, ableist, if I had seen something that was, um, uh, anti-immigrant, any of those things, I, I would have, I would have complained. It just happened to be trans, and I just happened to be trans. Um, the luck of the draw for them, I suppose. I mean, like, like I said, if I had seen any other document, and it's not like I haven't before. It's not like I haven't seen shit. Not necessarily here, but in other places, and I haven't spoken up. I, I do. I do tend to speak up. Maybe not always. I mean, I'm sure there are instances in my past where I haven't. I'm, I'm sure there are. I don't recall anything offhand. But it very well could be true, and I'm not going to say it isn't. I, I'm pretty sure that, that I have in almost every instance, but I can't guarantee every single instance. As far as my memory goes, I have. Um, I mean, the one, one and only thing that Tommy can think of is the thing that spurs me on to do it. I, I, I can't just sit there and not act when I see, when I see something. Uh, I, I did. Okay, guys, there was a time. This was like back 
back in 2001, 2000, you know, 9-11. It's related to 9-11. The one in North America, not the one in um, Chile. Okay. <coughs> that incident and all the war, the pro-war rhetoric around it was causing a lot of Asian hatred. Particularly, particularly towards Asians who wore turbans. Right? It didn't matter if they were Arab, and that Arab was Muslim or not, or if they're Hindu. If they wore a turban on their head, they were fair game in a lot of people's eyes. And it shouldn't matter anyhow whether they're Arab or Hindu or Muslim. I'm sorry. If they're Arab or Indian, if they're Hebrew or... <laughs> if they're Muslim or Hindu, it shouldn't matter. <coughs> I mean, one should not discriminate on religion as well as on race. I mean, religion should be brought under the secular umbrella. I think they're all treated equal bullshit. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Um, but you know, they're all equally bullshit because what is it? Aaron Ra always says, um, um. Not all of them could possibly be true at the same time, and none of them are certainly true, or some some of that some line worth little effect. I don't remember how it goes now, <laughs> but yeah. But my point is, there was this violence. Now, at the time, this is between me being accepted at the University of Alberta for my after degree in education, and us moving out to Edmonton. I had been working at a uh, technical support call center. Uh, in Emil Woods, and my ex and I, and our newborn child, were, <coughs> excuse me, were living in Northeast Edmonton, in the uh, Belvedere area. We only had the one vehicle, and the days my ex worked, she would take the vehicle, and I would take the bus. <coughs> excuse me. And the days that, <coughs> excuse me again, and the days that she didn't work, I would take the vehicle, unless she needed it for something. So, my ex had the vehicle this time, so my spouse had it, and I was riding the ETS, taking my various transfers out, and I did my e I did a midnight shift that night. I did a midnight shift, and it was one of several that week. And I'm on the bus now, going home from work. I'm like, I might be like four or five blocks uh, north of the um, the mall where the uh, call center was, and we stopped this w we stopped at this one ETS terminal, just out by uh, white um, white white mud, white mud overpass, and I'm half asleep. I got my head leaning against the window, and I'm just dozing. My eyes half open, they're slits half open. I'm half asleep, <laughs> and. I see this uh, uh, this uh, this West Asian gentleman from looks looked to be from India. He was standing on the platform, um, and <coughs> this person who appeared to be inebriated, very male, very white, approached him and started throttling him. And I'm staring at the scenery half asleep. It's not even registering in my brain, right? It's not even registering that this is real. I'm th I literally think I'm dreaming it. And then all of a sudden I wake up, oh wait. I wake up, right? I, wait, this is not a dream. This is this is really happening. And just as the bus drove off, too, I'm on to start driving off. And there's a... There's but it's too late. It's too late. Now, I don't know whatever happened to that that Indian um, and I don't know if that that his attacker his assailant was ever charged with anything I never heard it I'm assuming it wasn't that serious because it never made it into the news but ever since then I see or hear something it, it it's it's like and I don't do something about it it's like fire, man. It's like fire. I, I just can't. It just eats me up inside. And I have... It motivates me to do stuff. And sometimes it makes me do stupid things. But I do things. I do something. I say things. 
I have to act. I, I wasn't going to act on this document. I was going to just, just gonna let it fly, slide rather, and I, it, I couldn't. And I had to engage. I was advising people not to engage, and I think for most people, most of the time, this is probably a good idea to not engage too often with people who are potentially violent or hostile, at least. But I couldn't take my own advice, and so I, that that the other day there, I confronted the librarian. I didn't mean to confront her; it wasn't intended to be a confrontation. I was just asking about the document, if they knew about it, and she started defending it, and th that turned it into a confrontation. <coughs> I just want to ask her one question, have her answer it. I just want wanted some honesty and integrity integrity from her about it, and she she refused to answer the question. It was a simple question, yes or no. If this were any other marginalized group, would you be okay with it? If we're a black, if we're um, about black folk, would you? Would you uh, be okay with it being up here? If it was about um, about um, women, or if it was about disabled people, <coughs> would you ha be okay with it up here? <coughs> and she just kept, she refused to answer, right? She just kept saying, well, it's not about those people. And I said, yes, I understand that. But if it were, would it make a difference? And she refused to answer because she knows that yes, it would have made a difference. But she doesn't see us trans people as people, let alone marginalized people, right? I I don't know if she sees some of those other groups as marginalized either, right? Uh, particularly, you know, people, uh, black, uh, black people, in the, people in the black community, and people of color, uh, indigenous, uh, disabled people. I don't know if she sees some of those as people or not. She she might see some. She might not. I, I'm not sure. I don't I don't know her. I don't know her. So I cannot really comment. And I'm not going to go that path and start saying yet just what she thinks without knowing. But I mean, she clearly doesn't think that trans people are worthy of that kind of protection or respect. Um, so she's willing to let things that are technically hate speech in the halls of the library. Now she w it's just not the head library who did this. Just in case there are people who are, who are watching or saw the other videos, thought that it was. It was the head librarian who who was who I was talking to. It was the acting librarian at the time. Um. <coughs> so anyhow, and that's that's what happened there. So you saw that video. So this may or may not be a victory. It's tentative at this point in time. Let's move on now. Uh, then the next thing you probably s probably saw was that little graphic I put up about from the website there saying that there are no picket lines. God, I wish I'd read that first. Actually, it was a nice walk, so I'm okay with it. Um, but anyhow, I walked up there, so I was going to go join the picket line and show my support for the public workers on strike. And it was canceled. There was nothing there. And so I turned around and I, I decided to start recording my trip back through a portion of the trail. The, it's the Millennium Trail heading towards the base, uh, between the town and the base there. And that part of the trail is just gorgeous. And, and I, I love going through there. I don't go through it often enough, you know? I have no reason usually to go towards the base. I, I avoid going to the base as much as possible. There are some amenities on the base that I do uh, use. Um, like there's a certain hairdresser where they have moved from the south part of town to Medley on the base in the mall there uh, on the base and I, I use their services once in a while um, but I, I don't go too often otherwise um, but I'm, I'm walking back and I start recording and as you can see in that recording I'm discussing a conversation I had with my therapist and, and yeah oh man I really want to move I, I really want to move, but I, I'm checking out the costs of living, even in town here in Cold Lake. You're looking at around $1,000 for an apartment, and it goes up from there. And you leave Cold Lake, and it's already above 1000 for anything decent. I mean, if there are some nice ones that are around 900 or so, but that's still around 1000 You can't get anything that's um, much less than 1000 and most places are over, so I have to think about how I'm going to do this. I, 
I either have to get myself a different job. Uh, hopefully, if I transfer and I stay with the company I'm with right now, they will give me a pay raise to compensate for the cost of living. I don't know if that's guaranteed or not. Uh, if I decide to go with another job, um, I'll, ha I'll have to find something that pays relatively well for the area I'm moving into. And again, <coughs> there's no guarantee that I'm going to get what I need. And in either case, I'm thinking I may have to share boarding with other people. We may have to like each um, get a three bedroom a three bedroom apartment and each rent out a um, portion of the uh, of the uh, a third each right of the, of the rent put towards that and and hopefully that will be enough. <laughs> I mean, if you can knock the rent down from a th thousand to three hundred or three fifty, three twenty, yeah, a third, three hundred thirty-three, three hundred thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. That then cents three 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 three. I don't think we can ha get that small change. Uh, we don't even don't even have pennies anymore. So, yes, yeah, three dollars and three hundred. Three hundred thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents, thirty-five cents, probably round up to. <laughs> so landlord, they'll get a bit of a, a deal on that, unless we pay by debit, credit card, etc. So the, that it would be something that uh, me and my um, my roommates will have to figure out. Housemates, flatmates, whatever we call them. My mates. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I figure. Oh, figure. We'll figure that out, I hope. But I have to find people who want to do that too, and people I can trust. And yeah, that's another process in of its own. Plus, I have to find some way of getting around. I, ha I, don't, have a, I don't have a vehicle at the moment. I gave up my, my vehicle uh, last year sometime for um, uh, to get my, rent, my um, debts under control. And I don't have a vehicle at the moment. I've been mostly getting around by foot, and fortunately, Cold Lake does have a public transit system, which is good, um, and it's free boarding, free pass on the on the uh, Cold Lake Transit, so that's nice. That really helps. Um, so that's been nice. Cabs are pretty expensive too, but yeah, I'm, I've been looking at motorcycles, and I think I'm going to go that route. Now motorcycles can't haul a lot either, so I, I'll have to rent a moving truck or something uh, when I move, which is fine. I can probably do that, but I have to make sure I am set up for that as well. And if I do get transferred or I do get a new job, I'll have to look into um, into maybe some kind of um, coverage for for transferring to a new job. I might be able to get something from that, depending on what that that um, new company I'm with will do for me. That might be a benefit I, I receive, or I may not, I'm not sure. Uh, relocation fee or something they call it, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll have to look into that. I, I really, I, I really, <coughs> I really want to um, make this happen, so maybe this is an option that will help ease things a little bit, because financial costs of all this moving aren't going to be cheap. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some compensation from the house, and whatever I owe my ex, I can pay her off from that. The rest will be mine, and and that'll be that. Um, I don't know how much we'll get for this place. It's a trailer unit. I don't even own the, the land it's on. I We just own the bundle of sticks that's on top of it. But we'll sell it, and whatever we get, we get. And that'll be that, and I won't worry about it. I was never... A really big fan of trying to get equity from a bundle of sticks. <laughs> Wasn't my idea. My spouse. My spouse is more her idea than mine. Hmm. But whatever. Whatever made her happy. And this will make her happy. And then, you know, that'll be that. And we can end our, <sighs> our association on a more friendly note still. And that would be good. I, I don't really have any am animosity towards her, so, and I wish her well. I, I hope she finds the happiness that she's looking for. Maybe it won't be in the way she thinks, but I, I hope she finds it all the same, right? Okay, so, what have I yet left to talk about here? 
So that was my day. Um, I did a stream earlier this morning. I don't know if anybody saw it. Uh, I, I noticed something that... I was eating my breakfast during the stream, and I noticed that... That my utensils on the dishes was really, really fucking loud. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was like quiet. Tick, tick. Oh, there's a quiet tick. I thought it was a quiet tick, tick, tick. But I was watching the playback, and it's more like clang, 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 all the way through the video. I just uh, fuck. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. Yeah. So I'm going to have to rethink my strategy about eating breakfast during my streams in the early in the morning, or I will have to learn new utensil handling utensil handling skills, so I don't blast people's eardrums with the shattering noise of my silverware hitting the ceramic. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry. Um. So. I think I will cut it off here, end it here, and I will then upload my videos, and we shall see how it goes. <laughs> this should be fun. Alright, thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.